Hi there, my name is Jake and this is the coupling from MakerPipe. This individual clamp is a part of a much larger system of connectors that let you transform ordinary electrical conduit into a building material with endless potential. Before we look closely at the coupling and learn how to put it together, let's talk about conduit and connectors and see why they're incredibly useful for DIY projects like these. You can buy EMT conduit in the electrical aisle of your local hardware or home improvement store. It's made of steel, but you can easily cut through it with a handheld tool. Maker pipe connectors exist so you can securely join pieces of EMT conduit together and create awesome projects that you'll love. We designed them to clamp around conduit and rely on friction. This means you can build your project without needing to use electricity or specialty tools like a drill or a welder. In fact, you only need a single 5mm hex wrench to make a connection. This clamp design makes them modular and extremely easy and quick to put together. They're just as easy and quick to take apart, which means you can easily modify or update your project on the fly while you're building it for the first time or as your needs change down the road. You might also have a lot of different hobbies and interests. If that's the case, nothing is stopping you from completely tearing down a build to repurpose the connectors and conduit for something new. We're proud to manufacture the connectors here in our shop in upstate South Carolina with locally sourced 12 gauge American steel. We finish the connector pieces with a corrosion resistant and UV stable silver zinc coating. This coating combined with the galvanization that comes on EMT conduit means you can build outdoor projects like these and rest assured they will be durable and long lasting. Each connector in the MakerPipe system serves its own purpose and solves a unique problem within builds. The MakerPipe coupling allows you to join two pieces of EMT conduit together. The obvious use for this is creating long spans of conduit for larger projects. Bracing your project is really important and you shouldn't use this to create long unsupported spans of conduit. If you do, you might end up with something like this. Other connectors that work well for extending builds will add a vertical support or brace at the same time. The coupling is really handy because it gives you more freedom and flexibility to add supports and bracing in different places along the span that you've created. The coupling also comes in handy when you want to break down and store projects easily. You can use it to break up longer pieces of conduit and make smaller segments that join back together. Scott made a frame to support an inflatable paint booth in the event of a power outage. He doesn't use this booth all the time and wanted the frame to be easy and quick to put up and take down. You'll notice that he used couplings to achieve this. The vertical uprights can stay together all the time and the horizontal pieces can easily be removed or added thanks to the coupling. We've also seen builders use this to simplify complex structures with multiple bins. Chet made this trellis and used the couplings to separate the bottom half from the top half. This made the project a lot easier because he was able to break up the build into multiple segments and get the bins right for each corner before joining everything together. Now that we have a good idea of how to use the coupling in builds, let's learn how to put it together. The coupling is made up of these two mirrored pieces that you will find flat packed and sealed together inside of your maker pipe shipment. In addition to those two pieces, you will need an M6 nut and bolt for the coupling. This hardware is included with your purchase and can be found inside of a clear bag in the box. To tighten the hardware, you will need a 5mm hex wrench. The coupling is currently sold in three variations. All three options of the coupling function the same with some slight differences in the way that you put them together. The half inch empty conduit version will come with two of these black plastic adapter shims that need to be snapped onto the half inch conduit before you can assemble the coupling like normal. The difference between the 3 quarter inch and 1 inch version is the gap that you need to leave between the two pieces of conduit that you're joining together. The 3 quarter inch EMT conduit coupling will have a 5 8 inch gap between the two pieces of conduit. The 1 inch EMT conduit coupling will allow the two pieces of conduit to sit flush with each other and touch. These are important to keep in mind when you're calculating the measurements for your project. To assemble the coupling, you will interlock the two puzzle pieces together and clamp them around the two pieces of conduit in your project. Hold the two pieces in place with one hand and use your other hand to place the nut inside of the hardware pocket on either piece. Hold the nut in place there and then thread a bolt into it from the opposite side. You can tighten the bolt by hand at first and then switch to your 5mm hex wrench to complete the connection. The nut should stay in place while you tighten the bolt and you want to make sure that both pieces of conduit stay fully inserted in the connector while you're assembling it. You'll notice that the connector pieces have pre-drilled holes that are designed for number 8 by half inch self-drilling screws. These are optional and can be added now for extra security. There's also a hack that you can use to reinforce this coupling even more. I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the rest of the MakerPipe building system. The 180 degree connector is a great solution for extending and bracing builds.